Today is all about filtering, taking data that looks like this and filtering it down to only the values you care about. Like if you only want where popular fruit equals apple, then we should only show this record here. And then we're gonna step it up. Where if you have a separate list with comma separated value, only show them when the popular fruit is in this list. And then we're gonna step it up where if any of these comma separated items are in the fruit sold, which is another comma separated list. We're gonna use the intersection function. And at the end, we're gonna show you how to do even more complex filtering in case you need it. I have an array here of farmers, what food they sell and their most popular fruit. But I'm only interested in seeing farmers where the most popular fruit is blueberry. Let's filter for that. The wrong way is you would initialize a variable and then you'd loop through all the farmers, you check if they sell blue. This is just a lot of steps and also doesn't run very fast. A simpler way is to use an action that's called filter. The first thing filter takes is an array. In our case, it's our fruity farmers. And then it's gonna step through each item in that array, in this case, each farmer, but you gotta be careful. The first thing you need to do is type in the word item parentheses, but item isn't enough. That selects the whole thing. For instance, we don't wanna say that farmer Elon Musk fruits out all of this equals blueberries. No, we wanna show that does popular fruit equal blueberries. In this case, you got to be precise and put a question mark bracket and type in the name of the property, which is popular fruit. Click OK. And then in here, I can just type in blueberry. And now if I come up here and I hit test, my results will be that my farmer's array went from all of this stuff to just Denzel squashed it. Great. I doubt your examples will be that simple. Instead, a common scenario is a comma separated list and you need to match on that. For instance, if I add a compose that has these values in it, I want to filter my results so only farmers whose popular fruit is one of these appears. In my case, it would just be Denzel Squashington and Danny Dorito. To accomplish this, your first instinct might be, oh, I'm going to get rid of blueberry and then I'm gonna throw in Barry's text, hit save, and I'm done. But if you run it again, you're gonna open it up and see that it's empty. What the duck? Well, if you look here, what you're saying is, does the fruit apple contain blackberry, blueberry, raspberry? No, 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 you just gotta flip them backward. So you can X this, and then you can take this, put Barry's text on this side, and on this side, I'm hoping you copy and pasted what you had earlier. Literally do the same thing again of item. And now when you rerun it, it'll have the result you want, where now I have Danny Dorito and Dudzel squashed it. Great. But let's look at a really tricky problem. What if you want to find out which of these farmers sell fruits that are also in this list? So you're comparing comma separated list from one to another. It's tricky, but super doable. First, we need to become familiar with an expression called split. So I made a new compose and I'm gonna call this berries array. And then in my input, I'm gonna go down here to expression and I'm gonna type in split and it expects what I'm gonna split. And the first thing is obviously my berries text. And then the next thing is, what do I want to split on? In this case, it's a comma. So my final expression looks like this. And then if I run it again, my Barry's text now looks like this. And I could do something fancy with it. Watch this. I just made a separate list called Sean's Favorite Fruits. I personally believe an avocado is a vegetable, but I've been told it's a single seed fruit in case you want to be annoying. But let's talk about a really cool expression called intersection. Intersection is awesome because the expression lets you take two different lists and it'll give you back one list with only the common values in both. So in here, if I utilize the expression intersection and then I pass in the Sean's favorite fruits, let me make sure I get parentheses in there, and then berries array, and then just to make sure I have the parentheses at the end, and I hit OK. Barry's array is this, Sean's favorite is this, and then what do they have in common? Blackberry, nice. But here's where things get bananas, pun completely intended. 
we have to change up our filter to do something really tricky. I'm going to take this first input and I'm gonna paste it here, which is our berries text. And right now we're saying, does the berries text contain the current fruit? But instead, I'm gonna do intersection. First, we have to get rid of these at symbols. And I'm gonna do intersection. And then I'm gonna put a comma here and then a parentheses at the end. Now, intersection, remember, is gonna give us the values that match, but I don't really care about that. I just wanna know if any of these items appear in this list. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use a different function called length, and then I'm gonna paste my intersection expression, hit okay, and then now I'm gonna do, now popular fruit is of no use to me. I'm gonna do is the length greater than zero. Because if any items are found in the intersection, well, great, that means at least one of the fruits match and that's all I care about. If zero are found, well, then I wanna exclude those farmers because I only want farmers that are in that list. So if I hit save, when I rerun it, I get this great error. There's a reason for that. Popular fruits here, well, it's actually just text, it's not a list. So I have to turn it into a list. I also put in here a split and I wrap that around my popular fruit. Also popular fruit is wrong, I actually want fruit sold. And then now if I hit update, if we look in our results, we'll see of all the farmers, we only got Drew Barrymore because she does sell blueberries and then Denzel Squashington and people like Danny Dorito aren't even in the list because they don't have any berries, even though they say blackberries are the most popular fruit. He's also passing tomatoes as avocados as fruits, so I don't even trust this guy. One other thing worth pointing out is make sure you have no spaces inside of your list or otherwise you might not get the results you want. Thanks for watching. We got another video on how to do even more complex filtering coming up.